This video is going to take us through some of the antenna types that are available in Wireless Insight. Start off by defining a waveform. There are several built-in waveform types, but for now we're going to stick with a sinusoid. We're going to define a 1 gigahertz sinusoid. You can also see the time domain and frequency domain of the sinusoid. So if we go to new antenna, there are a lot of built-in types in wireless insight. You have circular apertures, circular loops, you have helical antennas, horn antennas, isotropic antennas. We can import NSMA format and Odyssey format. There are also quarter wave monopole, rectangular patch antenna, square loop, and a user defined format, which is a UIN format. So for now, we're going to start off with a horn antenna. All of these built in antenna types are based on predefined equations. So you can choose your aperture width, your aperture height, and that's going to affect how your pattern looks when it comes out. So for now, you can see with a 1 gigahertz sinusoid, this is what the horn antenna pattern looks like. You can then show the main gain. You can also render as a sphere as if you would like to see the distribution of the gain. You can actually change it to 300 megahertz. Click apply. You can see the pattern actually does change. If you'd like, you can also create an array by adding the amplitude phase and the XYZ location of each array point. But for now, we're going to stick with a 1 gigahertz sinusoid. Now, once you have your, your horn antenna defined, you can export this pattern to be used by another person you're working with or just to save this exact file. And we're going to export it as a UAN format, which is Remcom's own proprietary format. This concludes our brief overview of wireless insight antennas.